Hello and welcome back guys. So we will start dealing with the widgets very soon but before that let's see how we can add more information to our posts. So for example we may want to show the time on each of these posts. Now if you go to the the basics of the theme hand and you look at the theme basics and the loop you see that down here we have all the functions that we can use uh, including the one we used in the previous video which is ease page or ease page template these are all viable now we uh, what we want to use uh, the author and the category and the time here so that we can add more information to our posts. So let me go back to post.php in the template parts here. And I just want to show just below the title, I want to show some uh, other content. So the content may be the time of uh, the post was added. Okay, so here I just want to put some PHP tags and say, the time like this and close that okay so now let me add some classes just uh, maybe text muted just so it has a muted look to it and there's the time there so let's see what that gives us yeah if i now refresh uh, if you see down here we have some time there now this is not very useful because what we want is really the date. Now the way the time function works is that it can take a one single parameter that describes how you want the time to look. Now this is not just the time that's saved here, it's also the date, etc, etc, the full date, time and seconds, all that. Now if you want to know how to style a date, you can check the PHP date formats and see what to use because it's there on php.net but for now i can give you just a crash course on that so capital y means year and this is the year in four digits so if i now refresh this you will notice that there will be a year over there okay cool if i put the small letter y it's going to give me only two of those digits instead of four so you see there, 2021. Okay, so let's put the capital Y back. It's the same thing with capital M. So I can put capital M there and it will give me three letters of the, um, of the month, right? If I want the full month, I'm going to use the capital F there like this. And you will see that uh, September 2021. And also, I could put a small letter M and it will give me digits instead. Uh, instead of the text, I'll get a number for my uh, month like this. So you can explore this and see how you can uh, create your perfect date. Now for me, I just want to put small letter J, that's for the numbers, and then the capital S for the the th or the st. In there let's say it's 21st or 23rd that rd and the st it's that s over there then i can put a comma and then put my year over there if i want the time as well i'll put hours i'll put seconds and i can put minutes with i like this or i can put a to know whether it's am or pm like this so if i refresh this is what i get right a little bit too long so let me change the f to one m capital m instead and then let me remove the time itself that isn't very important so let's come back here and let's refresh okay september 12th uh, 2021 so that's how you can put the date there and then let's look at the category as well so right here on the category we can duplicate this and right here i'll say the category and let me remove the contents inside here 
So back again, and if I do this now, we see we have uncategorized over there. Mm -hmm. So now the category here isn't very, uh, let me right click here on the category so that we can see more information because as you can see here, it's echoing uh, something. Let's see, what if I say get the category? What do I get here? Let's see if we can use that. Okay, so the category. Oh, that's not what I checked, right? Oh, it's is category. Wrong place. Sorry, my bad. Let me find this one here instead. Okay, so the category can get a string separator. Uh, parents, int, post. Hmm. So let's see here. Separator between categories, if there are many. And then if... Um, how to display the parents. Mm. Okay, nothing much here. But what I wanted is this get the category list that will bring. Uh, oh, this is how the function actually works. Mm -hmm. What I'm looking for is get the category because I want to just get the content. So let's see if that's going to work. Let me refresh. And we don't see anything. But it didn't give us an error, which means the function actually exists. Now let's put the equal sign so that we can echo it instead. So let's refresh. And it tells me that array to string conversion here, meaning that it returns an array instead. Hmm. Okay, so if this whole thing returns an array, then it possibly means I can get the first item if I want, just the very first item like this, by putting a zero at the end. Now, you could just echo the result of this so you can see what's in there. But let's try with this. So it's saying fatal error. Uh, the object of class WP term could not be converted to a string. So what this means is that in that very first item, there is an object of type WP term. Okay. So instead of... Um, struggling with this what we can do instead is let's set the let me do this uh, php and then i'm going to set this to a variable and call it cat is equal to so now at least we have a variable here that's equal to something and then what i want to do is I call it out here so i would do some php tags and then say print readable like this and let's put that category in there but before i do this i want to put some pre tags so i'm just going to say pre like so opening and closing pre tag just put it around this that way i get a nice view of the object that comes out of there so as you can see there's an array with one item in there that's zero and then we have a term ID, we have uh, the name of the term, which is uncategorized. That is the name of our category. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then um, what else here? Description, taxonomy, uh, category. That's the type of taxonomy this is. It's a category and uh, category name uncategorized. So here what we are looking for really is um, this the name itself and uh, let's see the slug there's a slug as well yes okay so we need the slug to create a link now let me duplicate this and just leave the category as it is so that it shows us how it does it itself so if i hover on this you see that it goes to uh, from my link there, my homepage, it goes to category slash uncategorized. So that's how we're supposed to make the link there. And you can see that the slug is this one. Where is the slug? There it is. It's small letter uncategorized. So we can use that information to create our own markup here. So we know that cat resides in here. So let me lower this a little bit like so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, category in there, that's cool. 
but uh, let's uh, let's do more so now that we have the category in there we just check to see if it's an array so if uh, is array meaning uh, things went well category then we can echo it now we want to get the first item from here because we know it's an array now if you want to loop through the category names you can so we can just do a for each like this and do cut and then what we get is an actual object of uh, cut underscore obj something like this and then i can go around now echoing whatever i want here so i can say echo cut object and then i say name like this okay cool so if i come back here and refresh i get uncategorized there that is all good uh, now i can remove this so wait before i remove it we can use it as reference so now what i want is the slug right to use for my a tag all right so let's add a uh, a tag here so a href uh, opening uh, bracket concatenate and then let's concatenate some more oh, single quote then double quote there and what do i do here uh, we need to close this uh, like this open that up close it a tag like so okay so we are crafting the a tag here but the name should be in here but uh, so i need to get out of the string and then back in it again and this will change to the slug like so so let's come back here and see what that does okay cool so now if i click on this of course this is going to go to page not found that's because we forgot one important thing is this is a category so if you look here there's a taxonomy uh, type right taxonomy there so this right here describes the type of taxonomy this is so we can just use that just in case so we're going to i'm going to put that right about uh, here it should be part of the link mm. oh wait a minute yeah it should be part of the link right here so boom right there let me move back here a bit oops so i want to get this put it right there so first of all we get the taxonomy and then we will put we'll concatenate a slash like this and back there and then yeah everything else should work mm -hmm. so let's refresh and see what happens mm -hmm. now we have category uncategorized so if i click now it's working right very good so we can remove all this here Let's remove this pre-tag right there. Refresh. Okay, so there we go. We have uncategorized. And then if you want, you can put the author as well of this post, if that's something you want to do. And to do that, right here, maybe after the time, we can just add something to this. Uh, let me just duplicate this duplicate put a pipe here and then this one is the author like so then let, rem let me remove everything in there like this and let's come back here and see what we have refresh okay so you can put a buy here if you want that kind of thing okay buy so and so uh -huh. and then for things like this you can even add um, maybe let's put this inside the uh, just to make it look a little bit better no i th actually think this is just fine but if you were going to add um, 
icons as well font awesome is there to do that for you so let's just put class here and i want to add fa fa uh, layer group i hope that's the one uh, let's see how that looks like here nothing i think it's group layer or something layer group right layer group wait layer group yep so that should have worked so why did it not work fa layer group i have no idea why that did not work yeah for some reason it didn't work let's try something else um let me just try user like this okay so something is weird here my icon isn't working hmm okay no problem we're going to fix that let me leave it on layer group we're going to fix that later but for now uh, things are working as planned so we added more information here and now we can just copy this same uh, information we say we have the title we have time so i can just copy this whole thing right here copy and i can put it inside page.php as well just above just after the title I'll put it right there. This way, at least we have more information on our page as well. Okay, so it looks like that page doesn't have an author for some reason. So inside page here, we can remove the author or maybe the whole date thing. So it's entirely up to you what data you want to add here. We don't even have a category here at all. So. That was pointless so let's remove that doesn't seem to add any value at all okay so hopefully you've learned something new here and now we can go to widgets and see how to add widgets to our theme so that we can move things around here as we wish okay so i'll see you in the next video